What's going on guys? So this week I headed up to Northern Arizona for an elk hunt with my uncle. Uh, it was his last elk hunt because just like me, he also has had many surgeries on his body and uh, just getting to that point where uh, you can't really get around quite as much. So a little bit of that later on. Um, my, uncle, my uncle's been hunting for decades. Uh, one of the most experienced hunters that I know. So I'll do a little interview with him a little bit later. Um, and we didn't see anything that wasn't too successful. Just a couple of cows. Uh, the weather came in and kind of pushed everything out of the area. Um, so anyways, while we were up there, we ended up running into a couple of quail. So we decided to turn around and go uh, find those at the end of the hunt. That ended up not being successful either. I've never seen quail move out of an area so fast. Couldn't even find them when we went back to go uh, try, and, try and get one or two. But uh, all that being said, didn't, uh, didn't give up. Back in uh, the, the Phoenix greater area now and I'm heading out to uh, end the week with uh, a couple hours of quail hunting uh, down in Southern Arizona. So here you go, have fun, enjoy. Preacher, come here. Find him. Hey, hey, come back here. Oh, there they go running too far out in front. Preacher. Preacher, come here. Hey, 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 come here. Ah, oh, take it off safe, you idiot. Again. My bird. Okay. Let's get out of this mess. Come here, Breacher. Breacher, come here. Breacher. What is it? 
Where's the bird? Where's the bird? Find the bird. Here, come on, let's get out of this. We need something here, we ain't getting it. Come on, Breacher. Oh, look at that point. Get it, Breacher, find a bird, find a bird. Where's the bird? Find a bird. Oh, he smelt him too. Good boy, Breacher. Good boy. Come on. Smell another one? See, that's a prime case of not trusting your dog. Reacher! Come on! I hear him, he's got him over here. Damn. Breacher had those ones too. Breacher! This isn't gonna feel good. Well, that's just a bad idea altogether. Breacher! Come on, Breacher! I gotta get out of this stuff.
Oh, this is dangerous. Man, look at this, it's pulling off my leg. All right, we need to get back to the trucks. I need another layer of sock. God damn, what the hell was up with that? Come here, Breacher! Breacher, come here! Damn it, that was my chance. Well, guys, I've been walking for I don't know, maybe 45 minutes with the dog. Uh, busted up a lot of quail. I haven't been too successful. I definitely need to work on uh, my shotgun skills. Plus this 20 gauge I got here for my wife and kid. I'm trying out. I'm still trying to get used to the different interchangeable chokes and never really dealt with that before. So, um, anyway, just playing around with those. I probably should go out and shoot some paper, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, if you guys have any advice, please let me know. But as you can tell, just that 45 minutes, it's like 70 degrees outside, so it's a nice day. But I've got quite a limp going. And uh, that's because my leg is coming loose. Um, it's a suction system right now. And uh, it's coming loose, and I've got a couple spots where the bone is rubbing against the socket pretty, pretty bad. So I'm going to go back, put on another, uh, another layer of sock, and... Um, go probably get back in the car and try another spot. All right. All right, what's going on, guys? Hey, it's the end of the day. Uh, not a whole lot of light left, so I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. But I want to show you how I skin and clean these quail. Uh, I have a little female here. Breacher, back. My bird. And uh, anyways... I don't breast them. I like to keep the whole quail. So is what I do is I always cut the wing off. So that's for breacher and for training. And basically I just pull right behind like basically the elbow joint right there. And I just cut in and take it off with a good pair of uh, game shears. And then I'm not sure how well you can see this, but right behind that little knuckle, just going to cut that on both the feet. Just like that. Obviously the, um, the head's already off, and then all you gotta do is grab it by the top and just pull down and rip that skin, and just pull the skin right off, and it just basically takes off the uh, entire, like all the feathers and the whole bird, and see how cleanly that just comes off just like that? And get it from the back, and then lastly, take the tail feathers, and just clip it and then you want to get in right here just underneath that breastplate you're just going to cut really gentle and then all you got to do from there is just reach in and pull out all the innards just one fail swoop nice and clean And that's it, all I got left in there is the heart. Just that little itty bitty heart right there. And that's how, I mean, see how quick that is? And look how much more meat you have. These whole back legs are super meaty right here. I know people don't usually like to keep them, but that's a lot of meat. I mean, in comparison to the breastplate, I'll take the gizzard out too. 
forgot about that. But anyways, in comparison to the breastplate, you know, here, I mean, that's a that's quite a bit of meat right there. It just comes right off. And that's it. Hey, guys. If you enjoyed the video today, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, hit, hit like, subscribe. If you made it this far, obviously, you, you enjoy watching it. Once again, my main focus here is, you know, with my amputation to, to try and figure out how to hunt. Um, it's a source of motivation for me that keeps me going and uh, basically give, gives me a drive to, to get out there. So, uh, hey, I hope you guys like this. If you have suggestions, I'm not the best hunter, so if you have suggestions on hunting and things like that, please let me know. As you can see, I definitely need to go take some trap lessons. But anyways, have a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed it.